Hi, I'm Mekha. I'm from LSR Delhi. And I was going through some books and I found this really pretty book by Tejaswini Divya Nayak. It's called Smokes and Whiskey. Tejaswini Divya Nayak is an author. She's a poet, an activist and also a filmmaker. And she has written 42 poems in this book, which are about love and relationships and everything that lies in between. So as you go about the poem, you'll re you realize that this is a story that she's trying to build. In the initial poetry, you'll realize how she's talking about the first phases of the relationship and in the later poetry that you find, you find that she's talking about the breakdowns and how she got back up from the word that she used as rubble and how she built herself up again. Another thing about this poetry, these poetry is that they're not very unusual, they're not different. So the best thing is that you can really relate to it, the readers can really relate to their own stories when they read these poetry, when they go through these poems. And the best part about this book that I found was that it isn't sugar-coated at all. It's written in a very realistic perspective. So it doesn't say that life is a bowl of cherries and love is all happy, happy. And it tells you about all the ups and the downs that go along with love and relationship. And the best part, another best part, which is, is that it motivates you to see it says that love is not only going up 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 it it's also about going down breaking down but the best thing is that you have to be motivated to rise back up from the breakdown point and this book really helped me to realize that it's very important to build yourself back up have faith in yourself believe in yourself even after your your heart is like torn completely uh, because of love, because of relationships. So this step, I think, by Tejaswini is that is very bold because she has represented love in a very bare form. And it's tough. It's un unusual, <laughs> very ironical because her story is not that unusual. But it's very unusual that she has represented love in its true form which not many poets do, which I really appreciate it. And I just realized that I use the term best a lot of times, but I think this book deserves to be called the best. And it's available on Amazon. Go check it out, buy it, and you will not regret it, I'm sure. Thank you. Hey there, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon on the YouTube app to never miss any story mirror videos.